Hey -o. welcome back to my channel. Thanks to everyone who watches, subscribes, and comments on my videos. Hope you're having a great day. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a quick run of Ramu Hard without any cheese. So there are some cheese strategies going around and if you're interested in that you can google that and check it out but for me for this run it's going to be a normal standard run i'm using sephiroth with edged wings and nameless and shiva You also need Triangle Sigil Break, so I have that. And you want Water for Ramu. And I've given Sephiroth a Cure, just to help with the healing if necessary. I've got my classic sub-equip set up, just to give me Boost Magic Attack level 7. He has 2,200 magic attack. Aerith is my healer. Given her defaith and a water and a triangle sigil break. Full heal sub weapons to give me boost heal, level five. So heal is at 1,500. Lucia is my support DPS, 1.8k physical. Triangle materia, water, and a cure. Her sub weapon setup gives her boost physical attack level 5 and boost HP level 4. I have a 132k power and that's enough. Let's jump into the fight and I will walk you through it. I just go auto for the first wave. Second wave, I switch to semi and I control Aerith to make sure that I am topped up with HP for the Ramu phase. Most people already know that if you are new to the fight, you want to make sure the bombs don't get their burst ability off. to the actual fight with Ramu. Your main priority in this fight is to spam water as much as possible so that you can try and keep that lightning charge bar down as much as you can. 
when he casts 11 arrows. I switch to Aerith and heal just to stay topped up. And then it's back to spamming mortar. When he starts charging Thunderlance, I switch to Aerith and defaith him just to lower the damage of it. Defensive mode. And I have enough ATB to heal afterwards. For the stream phase, I more or less let my characters break the triangle and then I switch to Sephiroth and wait for the triangle to be broken and start spamming Telluric Fury because that can break the diamond and only costs 2 ATB. Then it's back to spamming water as much as possible. Then when he starts casting Judgment Bolt, I'll make sure I have enough ATB and defaith him just before it goes off. And after this he summons Sparks, so instead of using my Cure, I just use my Limit Break to heal up and get maximum damage on my summons. It's pretty important to save your summons for when he summons the sparks because those guys charge his lightning bar up way too fast and you won't survive the fight if you don't kill them ASAP. Then it is back to spamming water. stream phase. I can afford to heal up. Same strategy. Once the triangles are broken, E2 ATB to Lyric Fury from Nameless helps me get through the diamond phase. And then water spam. One more time, I use Aerith to defaith him before Judgment Bolt goes off. And after this Judgment Bolt, you just need to DPS him as fast as possible. I actually heal here just to make sure no one dies because he does cast a single target ability, Luminous Falchion. My limit breaks are back up, so drop those. And after that, it is just a race to DPS him down. We'll switch between characters, spam water. And he may or may not get his next move off, which is Thunderlance. And even if he does, it does not matter. I'm not worrying about defaith or healing. 
I'm just bursting him with water. So this will kill someone, but it doesn't matter. And Aerith is the one who dies. I don't know why they gotta do that to her again. But there you go. That is the fight. Not the greatest scroll, but it's a completion. That's all that matters. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a fantastic day, a fantastic weekend, and see ya.